Namaste. I'm very happy to be in Delhi today to meet my counterpart, Foreign Secretary Shringla, for annual consultation. Despite the pandemic, the exchanges between France and India have been very dense at every level. Just last week, for instance, the French Minister for the Armed Forces where it was in Delhi for a very successful visit. This shows the strength and vitality of our strategic partnership that is growing stronger every year. At the core of this partnership, there is the mutual trust we have built over the decades. It is because of this level of trust, France and India can work together in sensitive areas. The areas that matter for the strategic autonomy of our two nations, defense, of course, but also space security, new technologies, cyber security, energy. As you know, France and India launched together the International Solar Alliance and are working on many projects regarding renewables and nuclear energy in particular. These topics are at the heart of my visit. In my career as a diplomat, I've had many opportunities to work with Indian diplomats at the United Nations in particular, and I've always been very impressed by how similar our worldview is. Both believe in multilateral solutions to global challenges. We both want a multipolar world where international law is respected. That goes in particular for the Indo-Pacific, a crucial region where our two countries are neighbors and natural partners. This vision of a rules-based, prosperous Indo-Pacific is also supported by the European Union and its 27 member states through a comprehensive strategy. This is a major development. And when France takes the presidency of the European Union on January the 1st, we'll focus on putting this strategy into action with India at the core of this strategy. This will be one of our top priorities.